Hi students, today's topic is Inakshi Chatterjee's essay on Home Age Jangir Baba. Let's know more about Inakshi Chatterjee. She was a prolific uh, writer in both Bengali and English in variety of uh, genres. So genres include uh, humor, uh, popular science and uh, poetry. She was also a translator of English and Bengali books. She translated uh, popular writer Vikram Seth's uh, work uh, Shootable Boy novel into Bengali. And her uh, well-known works, books are Paramano Jignasa, Masterminds, a profile of Indian scientists. This is Paramano Jignasa and uh, Masterminds, profile of 11 Indian scientists. So the present essay on Homi Jangir Baba, it was an excerpt, uh, excerpt from her book, Masterminds, Profiles of 11 Indian Scientists. So she re received a Ravindra Puraskar Award in 1974 uh, for her uh, book, Paramanu Jignasa, which she co written with her husband, the nuclear uh, physicist Santamay Chitterji. And she also received a Vidyasagar Award for her contribution to children literature. And also, uh, she received the Kalidasa Nag Award for Lifetime Achievement in Literature. So, let's see early life, birth, and early life of uh, Homi Jahangir Baba. He was born on October 30, 1999, in Bombay, India. He was uh, uh, born to a rich Farsi family. Farsi is a religion community. And uh, his father uh, was a liar. Jahangir Baba was a liar. And uh, his mother's name uh, is Mehrabai Baba. And let's say a uh, family and relationships. He married to Kamala, Kamala Baba, and with whom he had uh, two children. Uh, his education. So he attended Cathedral uh, School and uh, John Collins School. And then uh, he uh, joined Elphiston College in Bombay for his early education. And also he attended uh, Cambridge uh, University for his uh, uh, engineering. His uh, father uh, sent him to uh, Cambridge to study engineering. But Baba uh, showed interest in uh, studying physics. So he did, uh, later on he did PhD in nuclear physics. So, there he uh, came close uh, with uh, famous uh, scientists, uh, popular figures in the field of uh, physics like Blackett, Chadwick, Capitjan, Rutherford. And he also uh, had opportunity working with the leading physicists of the century. Uh, he met Pauline uh, Jurich and also a uh, fame in Rome. And he had the opportunity of going to Europe on a uh, traveling uh, fellowship. There he uh, had the opportunity uh, of working with uh, these uh, popular uh, scientists, well-known scientists in the world. Baba could not return to Cambridge uh, due to the uh, Second World War. In 1939, Second World War broke out. So he was forced to stay in uh, India. They, at that time, he accepted a post in the IISC Bangalore as a reader and was in charge of specific special uh, cosmic ray research unit institute. A uh, CV Raman was the uh, director of the institute, and he uh, Baba elected a fellow of the Royal. He was elected a fellow of the Royal Society. So Baba working in uh, Bangalore, he was uh, a changed man. His dream was no longer of Europe and the opportunities it had to offer. So he decided to sacrifice his ambition and sacrifice his career and wanted to stay in India to develop a science in India. So with a sense of responsibility, he decided to stay in India. And he uh, his efforts to convince industrialists uh, like uh, Tata's so he convinced uh, Tata's JRD Tata to establish uh, TAFR, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in 1945. And it was set up in uh, Bombay in the year 1945. So then Baba moved to Bombay. He gathered uh, young and talented scientists from all over India to work at the institute. And also uh, a school of mathematics was also started under uh, D.D. Koshami, a teacher from uh, Bombay College. So he invited many scholars, noted scholars from all over the world to give talks at the institute for 
seminars and workshops at the institute so here he he had a brilliant mind he could foresee the tremendous uh, response uh, possibilities in nuclear energy if and when it was properly developed so he had a prophecy and he had a, a foresee in the uh, possibilities in nuclear energy so in the year 9 in the year uh, 1948 uh, the atomic energy commission of india was founded with baba as uh, chairman and it was uh, instrumental in setting up nuclear reactors in india and for that uh, atomic uh, energy commission of india a site was chosen in trombe to house the reactors and laboratories so uh, baba devoted his uh, life to the development of science in india and he also played a key role in the uh, nuclear energy development in india india entered the nuclear club with the efforts of uh, baba with the uh, vision and organization of baba so he thought of nuclear physics not as a purely academic exercise but as something which would lead to the production of cheap electric power and national development so here uh, one gram of uranium can provide a power to a city like calcutta for 20 years so nuclear energy has uh, many advantages but however uh, strictly measures are needed against an accidental leakage of radioactivity so he advocated uh, nuclear energy for peaceful purposes at a geneva conference in the year 1955 but his uh, friends european uh, colleagues were skeptical about the uh, peaceful purposes of uh, nuclear energy but here he showed baba showed uh the uh, that how a nuclear power could compete with uh, tamar power so the, he set up the first power plant was set up at uh, tarapur to power to the states of maharashtra and gujarat so india has a large deposit of uh, thorium and it was uh, one of uh, baba's fondest dreams to have enough uh, breeder reactors in our country a turning converting a turning thorium into nuclear fuel so uh, then an, an experimental fast reactor was set up at kalpakam near madras uh, that uh, turn uranium into a nuclear fuel but baba didn't live to see operation so baba uh, didn't uh, live uh, when the kalpakam uh, reactor uh, was started working let's see awards and honors so you have for all his work and contribution in the field of nuclear physics and science baba was awarded padma bhushan and adams prize for his uh, doctoral thesis in the year 1942 padma bhushan in 1954 and he was also nominated for a nobel prize for uh, physics so let's see a uh, conclusion of the essay uh, tragic death of homi baba in 1966 uh, when uh, baba was on his way to vienna to attend a meeting of the international atomic energy his plane crashed on mont blanc in alps when he died uh, when he was only 50 57 years old after his death india honored his memory by renaming a trombe atomic energy establishment to the baba atomic research institute barc so this is a summary of the present essay on homi jahangir baba i have given link in the description box for summary click the link given in the description box it takes you to my blog english language iphone lead.blogspot.com so you can get a complete notes for sem 5 sem 3 and sem 1 usmania university this is the last slide of uh, the summary